Okay. I think I mentioned in one of the earlier sessions how I'm very lucky I have a big window opposite me. And the weather today in Berra is amazing again. And it's probably, hopefully it's the same for many of you, but if you're watching this live, you've chosen to come inside and to look at me and the back of my living room. So, um, no, you haven't. You've chosen to do Kumye. Um, but I was reflecting this morning how when we look out on an amazing view and a blue sky, that's space and freedom. But really, um, to appreciate it fully, in my experience, to appreciate it fully, if we don't have a space and a freedom inside of us, we can't really appreciate what's going on outside of us. I went to Alaska in my 20s and it just confused me. It was so big and so beautiful, it kind of blew my mind. Um, I'd like to go back now, see if I can cope with it uh, these days. So that's what we're doing. We're coming into ourselves to find a space and freedom in, our in ourselves. So whenever we go, whatever circumstances we find ourselves in, in life, we find space, we find humor, where there perhaps is none, where we thought there was none. We can find a space, we can find a humor. So welcome to session seven. Um, session eight is gonna be our last one. The next session is gonna be our last one. That's gonna be a little bit of a celebration where we bring together all the different things we've been doing over the last sessions. This is session seven. This is going to be about breathing and recycling tension because tension is actually normal. If, again, if we look in the world around us, the planets and the stars, the tides, the seasons, that's all tension, expansion and contraction. And in Kumye, as I've said in previous sessions, we don't refer to good and bad. When we're talking about our energy, internal energy and, and in the world around us, we're not talking about good and bad. There's only held and flowing. So tension is energy in a dense or solid form. So what we're doing is uh, giving, creating space so that the tense, the held energy can release, can melt, release, and flow again. So let's begin with our posture. The physical posture is the first step in allowing the energies to flow in our body. So we have seven points to the posture. We can go through them briefly now, feeling the contact on the ground, weight evenly distributed on both sit bones, hands resting, palms down on the knees or upper legs. the spine upright and alert yet relaxed, the vertebrae balanced one on top of another. The chin comes in towards the throat a little, so the back of the neck, we just feel the back of the neck aligning with the spine. Mouth slightly open, breathing through nose and mouth. Tip of the tongue lightly touching the palate above the top front teeth. And then as we begin, you might like to have your eyes closed. When you feel comfortable and settled, you can try opening your eyes and having a soft gaze. And then a few little additional tips that we've also mentioned or shared is the navel just into the spine a little. So we just become aware of the natural curve at the base of the spine. 
and the chest up a little. Shoulders relaxing. I've had to look at the edits of these sessions and I've seen six hours of me with tense shoulders. So I've decided to, I needed to just bring my elbows in a little, let the strength of the posture be carried by the spine and shoulders relaxing, shoulders low. The shoulders are like an adornment Let go of any holding in the shoulders and in the chest. The chest is up, the shoulders are open, but there's no tension. And then the head balanced on top of the spine. And then we feel the breath. We breathe through the mouth and the nose. It feeds the head and the heart equally. So as we inhale, we feel the breath entering the body through nose and mouth. And as we exhale, we feel the breath leaving the body through nose and mouth. And the rhythm is natural as you find it. So we're talking about breathing and recycling tension. So the natural protection from emotional stress and tension is mindfulness of the breath. Mindfulness is not forceful control, but an attentive awareness of what is occurring. So we're not changing the breath or manipulating it. There's a natural rhythm to the breath and we bring an attentive awareness to what is occurring. When we remain quiet and observe the natural flow of the breath, the body and mind naturally release the energy stored in tension from its dense and solid forms. So the energy held in dense and solid forms in tension is naturally released when we remain quiet and observe the natural flow of the breath. When liberated, this energy increases vitality and clarity. So places of blockage become places of vitality and clarity. When we remain quiet and observe the natural flow of the breath. So we're going to do lightning thoughts which is an exercise we're very familiar with for two reasons. One, it opens the throat center. And the second reason is because we're familiar with it, we don't have to think so much about the movement and we can, our focus can be on the natural flow of the breath. So while we do the exercise, have an attentive awareness of the breath. So it may change, we let it be natural, but we keep our attention on the breath. Head coming forward, chin going down towards the chest, breathing through nose and mouth. 
Shoulders relaxing, shoulders are low. Spine is tall, shoulders relaxing. The head hangs under its own weight. The back of the neck opening and lengthening. We bring our attention to our throat and any holding, any energy in dense or solid forms in our throat. As we exhale with awareness, it's naturally released. And the head moves slowly up, feeling that movement, aware of our breathing as the chin continues up until the chin is high and we're looking through the ceiling, mouth falls open. Again, let the breath be very natural as it needs to be. We don't need to change it. We certainly don't need to hold it or, or stop it. Throat is opening, chest is opening. Shoulders relaxing. Can you be very comfortable in this position? Surrender to the posture. With your attention on the back of the neck and the breathing, let your head come slowly down. Until we're looking straight ahead. And then left ear to left shoulder. Let the breathing merge with any feelings or sensations in the body. Feel the difference between your left shoulder and your right shoulder. Opening and lengthening on the right side, compacting on the left side. Attention on the breath as the head starts moving slowly back up to the center. And then to the right side. Right ear to right shoulder, left side of the neck opening and lengthening. Let the breath touch any areas of tension or holding. The head coming slowly up. Until we're looking straight ahead. We pause there for a few cycles of the breathing. And then we'll do the head rotations. So the head comes forward. They don't have to be big circles. Head comes forward and then to the left and back to the right and forward. Our attention is with the breathing. And maybe at some points during the rotation, 
there's a temptation to hold the breath or stall the breath. So as we let the breath be natural, as our head rotates, the breath merges with the feelings and sensations in the body. And the next time your head is forward, just pause there for a moment. Be with your breath. Are there any feelings in your hands or your toes? And now we rotate, begin rotating the head in the opposite direction. So to the right shoulder and back, left shoulder and forward. And let the breath be very free. The next time your head is forward, pause there for a moment. And then let your head come back up. So we're back in the sitting posture. Belly into the spine, just a touch, just a hint just so we become aware of the natural curve in the spine. Chin in a little. Elbows in. This is quite aggressive, a lot of strength in this. Let your elbows relax at your sides and your shoulders hang gracefully off your spine. So lightning thoughts, the exercise we've just done is very good for opening the throat center, which is important for evoking and distributing our internal energies. The simplest way to open the throat center is simply being aware of the breathing and feeling the breath, touching the back of the throat as we inhale. And you can imagine as you exhale, the throat opening like a, a lotus flower. Breathing into the back of the throat opening and releasing as you exhale. And 
when the throat center opens, you may get an experience that your head feels lighter, clearer, and the feeling comes into your heart. Feeling is centered in the heart. Your mind is quieter, clearer. I have an image for that. It's as if you have a, a basin or a sink full of dirty sock water. You've been cleaning your socks in the sink. We remove the plug and it drained away into the infinite ocean. Suddenly all that confusion can just drain away into your heart, which is like the an infinite ocean. It becomes nothing when it touches your heart. So as the throat center opens, we can just let our, our head clear, our he head become quiet and clear. And feeling centered in our heart. So tension is normal. We will never be free of tension. It's a fact of life. But the accumulation of tension is not normal. It's not necessary to accumulate the tension. So the next exercise we're going to do, we're going to practice relaxing or bringing ease, being at ease in the tension. So finding ease in the posture. This is an important aspect of deepening Kumye. It softens our mental and emotional resistance if we can be at ease in tension. And of course, it's also very helpful in everyday life. Because usually in everyday life, we try and stay away from or get rid of conditions that cause contraction, that cause tension. If we can learn to be aware of them, and process the tension as it arises, then it becomes the vitality and the clarity rather than the tension. And awareness is the buffer. The awareness is what makes it possible for us to do this. We're aware as the tension arises, bring the breath there, naturally it's released from its dense and solid forms. So the exercise we'll do to trial this is loosening up. Again, we're very familiar with loosening up. We sit tall and the head stays still, pointing straight ahead. And the left shoulder moves back as the right shoulder moves forward. So my left hand moves up towards my body. My right hand is on my knee. First of all, become aware of the resistance or tension in the sides of the body and the belly and the waist. Bring the breath there. Any tension in the shoulders. For me, a good way is without moving physically, just Tell yourself this is how you need to be for half an hour. So for 30 minutes, we're going to stay like this. You just have to find your place in the posture. Surrender to the posture. Whenever I do that, almost immediately the, the place in my mind and my body where I'm holding resistance reveals itself. Breathing with awareness. When you're like this, the breath might not be so even, it might be a little bit choppy. When you're like this, the breathing may be a little bit, almost have a tremble in it. That's okay. So 
Very slowly, left shoulder coming forward. Resist the temptation to rush. Feel the movement. Feel your shoulders moving around your spine. Left shoulder coming forward as the right one goes back. Facing straight ahead, chin in a little. Again, can you get comfortable in this position? When you surrender to the posture, you're giving in to it. That's when you might feel this tremble in your breath or in your body. That's something just letting go. You drop your resistance. So tension is normal, accumulation of tension is not. So we're bringing our attention and our breath to the tension and releasing it. You can smile with your face or just as an atmosphere. Very slowly, let your right shoulder come forward. And again, left shoulder goes back. Sitting tall. Awareness is the buffer. Awareness is the difference. We bring our awareness to the tension. We feel the tension. Bring the breath there. We can recycle it. From dense and solid forms into flowing clarity and vitality or energy. Left shoulder coming forward. All the way forward. Right shoulders back. You have a belt of tension around your waist. Undo the belt, release the belt. You have a corset of tension in your ribs and your abdomen. Release, relax, let go. Shoulder coming forward to the right. Right shoulders coming forward, left going back for the final time, left all the way back. Are you still enjoying it? Sure. Left shoulder coming forward. Feel the shoulders rotating around the spine. This is the last time. Right shoulders back, left shoulder forward. And then back to the sitting posture.
following the breathing, an attentive awareness of what is occurring, of how it is. Our attention is in the body with any feelings and sensations in the body. And probably along the lengths of your spine. So release any blockages or tension, the base of your skull top of your spine, let it flow into your head. And down your arms. And in your lower body. Let your belly relax, fully relax. Let your hips and pelvis relax fully, like you've never relaxed before. Full permission. and become aware of any feelings in your toes, your feet and your toes. So just to recap a little bit and then we'll go to the next level. The key to natural protection from emotional stress and tension is mindfulness of the breath. Mindfulness is not forceful control, but an attentive awareness of what is occurring. When we remain quiet and observe the flow of the breath, the body and mind naturally release the energy stored in tension. Liberated, this energy increases vitality and clarity and strengthens our ability to diffuse pressures. Instead of being caught up in a cycle of escalating pressure, we can develop an abiding peace and clarity that grow from within. So instead of being caught up in a cycle of escalating pressure, that's what happens when tension accumulates outside of our awareness. You might have heard of a word stress. That's what stress is. It's tension, but we're not releasing as it arises. It builds, builds. Instead of being caught up in a cycle of escalating pressure, we can bring awareness to the tension as it rises we can release it and we can develop an abiding peace and clarity that grow from within. So commonly we would react to tension with further emotions and that's the cycle of escalating pressure. Tension, emotion, more tension. The alternative is we're tapping into and transforming the tension as it arises and we're liberating that energy to increase vitality and clarity. We have a very wonderful exercise to experiment with. It's number 91 in the book, Activating Healing Energy. Um, for people who are receiving a pension or who have a physical ailment of any kind or are just not feeling their best today. 
you take your time. The rest of us, you can, you can stay with me, follow me. But it's important with all the exercises that we know our own self. So you know how you are today and you decide how you want to continue. So everybody should be really nervous and full of trepidation now I've said that. <laughs> everybody stand. Oh, where? Wait, 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 before you stand, where are you feeling? Where in your body? Have I made you nervous? Where is it? Bring the breath there. Now we stand. So we stand, we feel the contact with the ground. We feel our weight evenly distributed left and right. And the important thing with this exercise is to let the breath flow easily throughout. So we're not trying to control or manipulate the breath, but we bring this attentive awareness, this light, gentle awareness to the breath as it is, how we find it. There's a slight bend in the knee, the knees are not locked. Uh, navel into the spine a little. And then we let our hands come out from the side, rising up until they're at shoulder height. And you can bring a little bit of tension to your buttocks. So clench your buttocks a little bit. Relax your belly and your chest and look up a little as if you're looking to, at the treetops. We're not looking up into the sky, but we're looking up maybe 45 degrees, breathing evenly. And bring your attention to the base of your spine. The belly and chest relaxing, breath flows easily the tension base of the spine. And whenever another idea or notion comes to the mind, just bring your attention back into the body, to the base of your spine. If you become aware of any tension or holding, just smile into it, bring the breath into it. Attention in the base of the spine. If you feel strong heat or a sharp pain, then let your arms come down. But if you're feeling sensations or maybe warmth, along the length of your spine, that's okay. Just another 10 seconds. Breath flows easily. Attention base of the spine. Now very slowly. Bring your head back down to the level and let your hands come down to your side in a smooth, graceful motion. Bring your attention into your body. If you found that a bit of a struggle, it's over now, so drop the struggle. Bring your attention into your body. 
Feel the difference. We're not trying to get rid of tension or avoid tension. We bring awareness to tension. Tension is normal. So if we can practice bringing our awareness to the tension and releasing it as it arises, instead of this escalating pressure, becomes a source of vitality and clarity. Easier said than done. But that's why we call Kumye a practice. We refer to it as practicing. When I say we're going to do activating healing energy again, your response is yes. Arms coming up to the side, yes. It will be different. It already is different. You've changed. You are an ongoing embodiment of energies. You're constantly changing. With every breath we change. Looking up at the treetops, our arms out to the sides at shoulder height, attention to the base of the spine, attention and a little tension, clench your buttocks. Can you clench your buttocks whilst relaxing the belly and the chest? Be kind to yourself. Breath flows easily. So you're not stalling or stopping the breath, however the breath needs to be. Attention to the base of the spine. And breath flows naturally. Ten seconds. Base of the spine. Slowly the hands coming down to our sides. And we drop our gaze so we're looking straight ahead. Chin in a little, feel the back of the neck aligning with the spine. Relax your thighs, knees are not locked, belly relaxing, arms relaxing by your sides. you weren't able to hold your arms up for the f length of time, don't be standing here berating yourself. Do come near. Light, gentle body awareness, supported by the coming and going of the breath.
So our feet are a comfortable distance apart. And for the third time, you might just want to bring your heels in just a few millimeters. Because we're going to do a third repetition. I can't hear you cheering, but maybe that's, that's a reason for that. If you feel like you've done enough, and it's not because you're being lazy, but because really you're taking good care of yourself, then you can just continue to stand and visualize the movement, or you can go to your seat, bring your experience back to your chair, but the rest of us are just so looking forward to doing this again. And we're going to add a little element this time. We're going to bend the knees. So with our arms out to our side, we bend the knees. And it's the, the bend we've been doing so often. So the back stays vertical. And it's not too much. The back stays vertical. We'll be bending in that way. Okay, it doesn't need to be too much at all. Here we go. Let's do it. Aware of the feeling tones as our, our hands move through space, they're at shoulder height. And we look up. And instead of the tension, the clenching the buttocks, the tension, the base of the spine, we're going to bend the knees. So bending the knees. Breathing evenly through nose and mouth. So we're looking up at the treetops. Our arms are out to the side. Our legs are bent. If you find having the legs bent a little too much, then straighten your legs slowly and keep your arms out. If you find keeping your arms out too much, then you can let your arms slowly down. But staying with the breath, being in the tension, releasing it in real time. It's as if we're opening up to the tension, to the possibilities within the tension, instead of pushing it away and making it an enemy, we transform it, we bring it closer and make it an ally. Very slowly, we straighten the legs, lower the hands, and our gaze comes down till we're looking straight ahead. Our attention is in the body. Can you be aware of your whole body? 
from your toes, your fingertips, top of your skull. Your forehead behind your eyes. Below your ears, your jaw below your ears. Your teeth. Can you feel your teeth? Now bring your attention into your heart. Remember the image from before, if it was helpful. All our cares, our worries, our thoughts drain away. Our awareness is in feeling centered at the heart. So we bring our experience back to the chair, back to the cushion. And as we return to the seated position, we feel the contact, our connection with the earth. And we're open to the sky above us. And centered in our heart. Two more minutes. If you drifted away, just bring your attention away from thoughts, out of thoughts, into sensing the posture.
when we bring mind into the body, into the whole body, that's meditation beginning right there. In the same way that we let the breath be natural as it is, how it is occurring, same in the body, feelings and sensations in the body. It's all okay. So being still without holding still. We're not holding and we're not controlling, we're just being. As it is. Okay, if you have your eyes closed, just open your eyes. The quotations I've been reading uh, today about tension, tension in the breath, and relaxing in the tension and transforming tension is from a book called Knowledge of Freedom by Tarthung Tulka Rinpoche. So that's the end of session seven. Look forward to seeing you for the finale. Thank you.